Hi, I'm Paul McGee, author of the book, How to Succeed with People. Remarkably easy ways to engage, influence and motivate almost anyone. Negative people, don't you love them? No, not really. We don't love them at all. In fact, I sometimes use language, which I guess you could say mocks them a little. I sometimes use this phrase BMWs to describe people. People who bitch, moan and whinge. I've got some colleagues who use the phrase mood hoovers to describe people. You know mood hoovers, don't you? They're the people that kind of like <laughs> suck the very life energy and joy out of every situation and spread some misery in its place. But I think we should be careful that sometimes in mocking negative people, we're also perhaps just accepting their behaviour. We need to be careful. Ignore negativity and negative behaviour from people at your peril. You see, we receive the behaviour we are willing to tolerate. And my silence Denial or avoidance gives approval to people's negative behaviour. So what do we need to do? I think in many respects, rather than resent people's resistance, we need to take some time out to explore perhaps the reasons for it instead. So let's explore three reasons why people, including you and I, might actually be negative. Here's point number one we're miserable by nature. I mean, let's be honest. Some people have got a negative blood group. It's just the way some people are. They wear negativity like an old comfortable coat. It just seems to fit them really well. So they're the kind of people that even if they won the lottery would say, just my luck, it wasn't the rollover week. You know, and their mantra for life, never forget, every silver lining has a black cloud. But I want us to be careful of these people because sometimes I think we need to challenge them because sometimes I think they're unaware of how their negativity and their misery can impact those around them. Maybe you could even use um, humour to diffuse the situation. You know, um, how long have you been a motivational speaker then? But I think we need to be careful that although people might be miserable by nature, let's just be prepared to challenge that and sometimes use humour to diffuse the situation. Second point would be this. A reason why people are negative? Maybe they're lacking confidence. Maybe in your workplace at the moment, there's been a lot of change. People are moving out of their comfort zone. They lack the confidence for that new task. But rather than say to you, hey, you know, I'm struggling here. I don't know if I've got the confidence or the competence to do this. They'd rather resist by being negative. And so perhaps with some support, with some coaching and with some further training, you develop people's competence, which in turn develops their confidence. Once that's been achieved, hopefully you start to diminish their negativity. Here's your third point as to why some people are negative. A feeling of injustice. Hey, maybe they've got a point. Maybe they have been treated unfairly. Maybe they haven't been listened to. Maybe they've not had a chance to put forward their case. Maybe what would really benefit them at the moment is to have a good listening to. People need to feel that they have been understood and they need to feel important. And the best way to do that very often is to give them a good listening to. However, sometimes people's feelings of injustice is, is more born out of a sense of entitlement. And sometimes, hey, reality rules. You know, it would be lovely to go into McDonald's and say, um, I'll have the lobster thermidor, please. Yeah, it would be nice to have, but it ain't on the menu. And I think some people's sense of injustice can be valid, but sometimes comes out of unrealistic expectations and therefore we need to get them to focus on what is on the menu rather than what isn't on the menu. So, in order to deal with negative people, recognise their reasons. They could be miserable by nature, they may lack confidence, or there may be a sense of injustice. Be prepared to understand where people are coming from, but also be prepared to challenge it. 
You see, if you leave negative behaviours unchecked, they can spread like poison. And when you are listening to people who are feeling there's been a sense of injustice, um, ask for specific examples. Don't just let people go, oh, everything's terrible around here, I've been treated unfairly. Ask them to be specific. Also, if they're not happy about the way things have been dealt with, ask for suggestions on how things can be improved. So negative people, we're, we're always going to have them. Maybe they help but positive people keep their feet on the ground. I don't know, but be careful of just laughing at them. Ignore their behaviour at your peril. Behind that negativity could be a cry for help. Maybe they are miserable by nature. Maybe they just lack confidence or maybe they feel a sense of injustice. I'd love to provide you with a magic wand on how to deal with negative people. I can't, but think of it like this. In many respects, people's behavior is a bit like an iceberg. And above the surface, you're seeing the negative behavior. But if we can understand a bit more of the reasons that are causing that in the first place, what's going on below the surface, then I think we will have a lot more success in dealing with negative people.